Would you rather live alone with endless food or feel alone with a kind, beautiful stranger that knows nothing about you? I'm gonna go with the kind, beautiful stranger. What do you mean I need somebody to talk to? Are you taking acting lessons and are you pursuing an actual acting career? To be honest, like I kind of got thrown in that a little bit. Like opportunities came up and I wanted to take it because I did do drama in high school and I really do love it. But I'm more of an improv person. Like the drop of a dime, like any skit that you guys have seen me do, I kind of just do it on the fly. Like I never write it down, I never think about it, I just kind of do it. There's different ways that my life can take me and right now that's kind of something that is a hobby when I can do it. I do want to try to take some improv in classes with one of my friends and kind of see where it goes because you can also use the improv to like host and or do something like that on the show and that's something that I really want to try to get into one day so yeah I'm, I'm down to try it. Dang I got a lot of questions on what type of girls that I like the most and if I would date somebody like myself like a stem or stud a lot of them so I'm gonna go ahead and answer that. Yeah I like you know fems. I don't discriminate there's some stems out there that I think that are beautiful and hot there's a, a stud that I think is gorgeous as well well no homo but like that's the thing is like I feel like stems and studs like we're on the same team you know what I'm saying I do like the more femme type if you're a lesbian and you fancy a straight girl how do you tell them to be honest like okay I don't know how that happens at all for myself I feel like if I'm unsure about a girl or a situation I know that they're sure that I'm probably gay so at that point I feel like if I, you know, make, drop a little something like, oh, you look beautiful or something like that, then the ball is in their court. You know what I'm saying? They gotta kind of put the little effort in because I'm not gonna go push myself up on a straight girl or a girl that I don't think it might be interested or unsure of. So, you know what I'm saying? All you can do is just put the little feelers out and just wait for it. It's like bait. You feel me? What age did you realize that you were gay? I liked girls when I was younger. I'm saying I always played the daddy when we played house when we were younger, things like that. I think I remember I was nine when I had a crush on this one girl, but like when I was six, I had a crush on my babysitter. I think I really knew in high school when I had my first girlfriend and like I felt like I was completely in love with her. And I was really happy with who I was. It wasn't until much later when I was in college. And then, you know, okay with like coming out and everybody knowing that I had a girlfriend. What is your biggest fear? Not like external like spiders or whatever, but internally like emotion wise not reaching my goals and not being secure and not being able to take care of the people that I love and care about that literally is my biggest fear if you were to have a different hair color for one day what color would it be honestly like I'm low-key thinking about getting silver locks one time I don't know I think it's pretty tight to try that one time I don't know I'm gonna be honest right now I just paused for a good minute for a bathroom break there's a lot of questions I'm answering I had to do it. I had to do it. Does it bother you when someone mentions or questions you about Kiara in the past? I mean, yeah, of course it does, but I, I mean, I, at some extent, I have to understand because a lot of you guys didn't get all the answers that you wanted or to be all up in my business. But yeah, it kind of does because I do kind of wish that you guys would support both of us as, as far as moving on because yeah, we might have went through things and yes, it might have been tough, but at the end of the day, we both made the decision to, you know, be apart and so... We kind of need support in those areas. We're still there for each other, we still support each other, and we still love each other, you know what I mean? How do you balance your lit social life along with YouTube relationships and being with significant people? Basically, how do you manage your time? LA is really different because a lot of, and networking, a lot of business, a lot of everything happens at night. So a lot of times when I go to events, I'm networking. Like I'm meeting people that I should be meeting with or connecting people or, you know what I'm saying, finding clients or different things like that. And so the nightlife is very much like the, a meeting. And you have to kind of go out and enjoy life sometimes you know what I mean and so it's kind of a little bit a balance of both but I take a lot of time out during the day for myself like blocks of time so that I can make sure that I stay like balanced in my mindset and don't go insane with all the things that I'm trying to do at once what was your first year on YouTube like um it was actually like kind of simple because I just kind of did what I wanted at the time it was just me doing it for fun but now, you know what I'm saying, getting into a more, it's a little bit more pressure, you know what I'm saying? People want to see this, and then you got to upgrade your equipment, and you got to figure out how to edit and be good at that. You got to do so many things, and at the same time, you got to figure out how to be entertaining for people on this side of the camera. You got to figure out lighting and equipment and all these things that you didn't even know existed that you have to be kind of an expert at to even be successful in this YouTube game. There's so much you got to balance and figure out. It's crazy, but I'm trying to do it, you guys. I'm trying to do it. If you could be around two people for the rest of the life who would it be that's so hard like I can't even think about that well, first and foremost I can't think of being 
not around my sister, you know what I'm saying? But then on top of that, it's like with my sister, my nephew has to come. So that's one person, right? I love, you know, my mom and my dad, but I wouldn't want to take my mom away from my little brother and same with my dad. So I'm going to go with my significant other and my sister and my nephew. What is your go-to song that instantly gets you in the mood? Right now it's... I seen your girl post a BM, so I hit her in a DM. It's going down in the DM. It goes down. It goes down in the DM. I don't know why, but that's all makes me so happy, yo. I don't know why. How do you pick out what clothes to wear and how do you get comfortable vlogging in public with people when they give you weird looks? Um, I'm really indecisive when it comes to clothes. Like, it really sucks. At this point, I've realized that all I keep doing, like the past couple months, is wearing what I just bought. I just keep buying new shit. I have an issue. I have an issue. But I'm being very reasonable with it though. Like I'm buying things that are on sale or not that expensive or I'm mixing stuff up. But as far as vlogging in public, like I see so many people do it now because Snapchat is a thing and everybody's like kind of vlogging on their Snapchat. Every once in a while I get a little weird, but other than that I'm like, fuck what you think, people. I'm vlogging, my phones. Have you ever considered doing an HBCU tour with an LGBT panel of your friends? Yo, I would love to. First of all, you guys know that my first school was at HBCU. I went to Texas Southern. I did get reached out to by one college in particular for like me, Hart, and Jade to go speak to, and I would love to do that. I just don't know how to do it. What do you think of a straight girl obsession with Ruby Rose? Does it annoy you? I feel like I've answered this before, but if not, Hell no, nah, this doesn't annoy me. I am so happy for another person on Team STEM to be turning out mofos across the world. Are you kidding me? First of all, Ruby Rose is gorgeous. No homo. No homo. Because she's on the same team as me. She's gorgeous. We need to keep this going. We got to have one out there. You know, I just want the next one to be maybe a little bit of woman of color. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Ruby Rose. Thank you, Whitney Mixer. And thank you, Ellen. But we need somebody of color in there next. You feel me? Who is your favorite Kardashian? So I'm gonna admit it right now because I really watch the Kardashians though. Like I really be watching it though. Like it's on my DVR and everything. Oh God, I have to admit it. I love Chloe. Chloe's my homie. You know what I'm saying? Like Chloe is dope. And I think Kendall is the most beautiful because she's the most natural. But I would also date Chloe. I'm not gonna lie. But I also hold Kim down. I think she's dope. You know what I'm saying? But Chris is the queen bee. Like she made everything happen. Like I might take Chris on a date if I could as well. I'm just saying. But anyways, I hope you guys love the Q&A. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon. Peace.